Welcome back to We Face Forward, where our series of concerts featuring the cream of West Africa's artists continues here at Band on the Wall in Manchester. Belsizoko's rocking chorus style and resonant voice have been welcomed everywhere from WOMAD to Glastonbury to London's Barbican. Having collaborated with the likes of Candia Kuyate, Pee Wee Ellis and Baba Marl, you'll see tonight just how outstanding his virtuosity and versatility is on Africa's 21-stringed harp, with the help of his band featuring his sister on vocals. <laughs> been together now now two years then because because we um, we know we know we know each other for a long time but because of the new project for the albums so we start to work together about like a brothers Yes, um, I play. Um, but my in my main instrument is a uh, kora, so that's um, what they've been. That's what my great great grandparents been playing. So like I'm a griot, you know, you're born to be griot. You you cannot just like uh, like um, learn to be griot, but you're born to be griot. You know, so it's like uh, this instrument is been from like 200 of my generation, my parents. So. So uh, that's what my is my main instrument is kora. Uh, so why I play different instruments is as well. So I come from this place in Senegal. You have a lot of different ethnicity. So I born in this uh, this place called Tambakunda. It's like 467 kilometer from the capital where I come where I been born. So it's like a lot of different like uh, um, like ethnicity like to like a language as well so there is like a different instrument is there so from my family house we learn a lot of like a griot instrument so like a kora djembe sabar balafon so i learned all of this from my families you know 
and singing as well. also performed with some really huge stars such as Bubba Marl. Yeah. Um, how was that performing with him? It's good, it's uh, another experience, you know, because uh, Bubba Marl is a big artist, so um, so he's like my family played with Bubba Marl for a long time, so he's like my brother was there before me, so he, when he passed away, so I take over, you know, so and then work with him for a couple of years and then after I decided to do my own stuff. Okay, can you give us a little bit of a, an introduction to your Ngoni, please? If you could actually tell us what the instrument's called and tell us a bit about it. Yeah, this instrument is the uh, Ngoni. It's the oldest instrument of all this, like a traditional instrument. So, because he's the first instrument from like the 13th centuries, you know, who like they used to play this this instrument to Griot and the king. So it's like a very like a novel instrument. Yeah. What's it made from? He made from like a, this is cow skin. This is wood, and this is the fishing line, and the tunings like this uh, the. Animals is that they made by uh, as well like cow skin, you know, being treated. So they are fishing line. This is like uh, the brick is made by uh, calabas, it's like pumpkin. Yeah. And there are how many strings? Seven? Yeah, it's seven strings. Okay. Mm. So can you play us a few notes and give us a bit of a lesson? Okay. What I write and sing about is just what is around us at the moment and what we're seeing, to be honest. So it's like when you're an artist, you travel, you see happy, not happy, you see everything in the world. So from that, that's how I've been, I've had my inspiration to write my songs. Oh, it was amazing, the acoustics, the singing, the vocals, the instruments throughout this world. I had a wicked time, it was really fun, really good music to dance to. And you know, coming off 
we were just in a bar in Manchester, coming off the streets and just to have such a lively atmosphere. It's brilliant. You know, it's amazing. You know, <laughs> it looks it looks easy. You know, <laughs> it's like, but if somebody gives you to play it, you, there's no way you can do it. Hey, gomba, 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 gomba. We fast forward.